Well, hello, Internet. Today I'm going to go over job interview questions and proper answers, or how to give a favorable impression during an interview. Archimedes198709 asked, I was wondering, could you make a video about how to give a favorable impression during an interview? Well, if you use this video in combination with my other video, Get People to Like You, you will get very, very good results. All this information is based off of a ton of questions that were passed on to interviewers, what they like to see from an interviewee, and a lot of other psychological research that I've done. First, what should you wear? Well, if you're a man, employers have stated they prefer to see men dressed in navy blue or gray suits, and of course it should be dry cleaned. Also, they preferred plain silk ties, plain long sleeve shirts, white was much preferred, like curlers in general are preferred, however. And of course, the shirt should be starched, and if at all possible, it should be a thick cloth, and black shoes overall were preferred as well. For women, same colors were preferred as for men. However, the interviewees say they received the best impression when women wore dresses. Plain tops, again, no patterns, as little as possible in regards to jewelry, and most definitely nothing revealing. Whenever you're entering the interview, bring everything in one briefcase that is very, very organized. Have many cover letters and resumes. You never know how many people are going to be there, and you do not want to be put in a situation where you do not have enough cover letters and resumes. Whenever you're reaching out to shake the hand, do not clasp their hand strongly, but instead meet them as an equal and give them an equal up and down handshake. At that point, you want to maintain eye contact 60 to 70% of the time, and throughout the interview, that's probably preferred to maintain eye contact 60 to 70 percent of the time unless you start to feel uncomfortable at that point you want to start to use less eye contact act enthusiastic but professional have an interesting story to tell if the interviewer is chatty always have interesting stories to pull out after you enter the room provide them with three to five seconds to look you over pretty much what you want to do is just put your briefcase down or any information you have and allow them to look you over without distraction then you want to sit when asked or ask them where you should sit and throughout the presentation if you use the skills in the get people to like you video which is free here on YouTube you can learn a lot about how to position yourself in regards to body language Whenever they ask you, tell me about yourself, which they will, don't provide your life history. They want your job history and the skills that make you a good hire. Don't get personal. Talk about how experience fulfilled the needs listed in the job advertisement. You want to constantly not refer to the advertisement that interested you in the job in the first place, but you want to take the skills they are looking for and constantly reposition them back to the interviewee that you have those skills and how you develop them. And you're going to continue to do that throughout this entire interview and make sure this takes no more than 90 seconds to answer. Whenever they ask you what are your strengths, again, list the same skills they stated they were looking for on the job advertisement. However, don't list the skills verbatim. Use your own words. When they ask you what are your weaknesses, if you don't give any, they will think you have an ego problem. So you definitely want to answer this with an actual weakness. However, you want to be a little bit tricky with this. Give a weakness that is actually a strength. For example, in this job, if you must work with a lot of people, state that your weakness is that you don't prefer working alone or you prefer interacting with many people and if you do not get to do this you will get bored see it's a weakness in another job but it's actually a strength in this job and then you want to go on to provide ways that you're working to overcome these weaknesses and explain how you don't let these weaknesses affect your work if they ask what excites or motivates you tell them that using the skills they're looking for motivates you for example I get charged up when I help people solve their problems most definitely do not bring up money, and your best bet in general is to say solving specific problems excites you. When you are asked, what are you most proud of? Keep these answers related to work. Never go personal. And throughout the presentation, you don't want to go personal. Give examples of how you've helped past employers make a lot of money because of your efforts, and give examples on how you solved the problems the advertisement said they needed solved. What is your biggest failure? Don't say you've never failed. You may say, I look at a failure as feedback on how to improve. And if you do give a failure, most definitely make sure that the, the example that you give was caused because of unforeseen circumstances and never blame other people for any failure you describe. Talk about how mistakes have made you a better person. How do you stay organized or get work done on time? State that you constantly prioritize your most important tasks and then stay till the job is done. And then go on and give an example of when you did just this. 
If you are asked how do you handle pressure, state that you enjoy pressure and don't want a boring job, unless, for example, this job might be boring. And then go on to give an example of when you handled a high pressure situation in the past. If asked, have you ever lost your temper, say I'm not the type of person that thinks getting angry solves problems. If I get frustrated, I just stick to it and get the job done. If asked how do you deal with stress, tell them how you relieve stress through physical activity or socializing with friends. Again, don't bring up that you go out and get drunk though. If asked, any company culture questions must immediately be agreed with. Then give an example of your actions in the past that embodied this overall corporate culture. If asked, are you detail-oriented? Again, same as the organization question above, give an example of when being detail-oriented helps save money and or customers. If you are ever asked to rate yourself in regards to specific skill sets, always give a rating of 8 or 9 and maybe an occasional 10, but you want to stay in that general area. If you're asked to tell something interesting about yourself, give the interviewer an interesting story about something that happened outside of work. Of course, make sure that your role in the story is both exciting, however, most definitely not illegal. If you're asked to tell about your last performance review, stick with the positives and ignore the negatives altogether. Never say anything bad about anyone, yourself or any employees that you worked with in the past or employers. If asked how do you handle criticism, understand that companies will not hire someone that doesn't welcome criticism. Say, I welcome criticism if it is constructive. I then use it to improve my performance anytime the situation occurs again. If asked how do you try to improve, give an example of a failure based off of an unforeseen issue and how you prepare yourself for similar issues now. What would a random person say about you? What you want to state is, I'm the person people come to for, and then insert one of your strong qualities, and then go on to give an example in which you back up this skill. If asked, do you prefer working alone or on a team? Your best answer will be based on what you will be required to do with this company. This is a question that people mess up in interviews all the time, and then they don't even realize why they were not hired. You would want to constantly answer in regards to what would fulfill those job requirements, and all Always give a positive example to back up all of your answers, but keep it short. If asked why are you leaving your current employer, never give a negative response on either your employer or your coworker. Explain how excited you are to work for this new employer. If this is your dream job, tell them that. Explain how the previous employer helped you gain the skills needed to work for this better company that you are now interviewing with. You never want to give the impression that you were forced out of your previous job or fired. Why should we hire you? State what their advertisement said they were looking for. Again, don't refer to the advertisement, just refer to the skills in that advertisement and explain how you are experienced in each skill and be specific. Also explain what added value you provide that the other candidates do not. Well, that's all folks. I pretty much answered every single common interview question. Thank you for the question Archimedes. And if you're watching this presentation and if you have any questions in regards to most anything, leave them in the comments section below and I'll do a tutorial for you. Till next time.